some natural lighting for y'all. Hmm. It's very dark out here. And let's not engage too much in narcissism. So, let's see, snow. Let's flip it boring. Uh, snow and light and uh, the night. Ha! Wicked rhymes. Yeah, yeah, all that stuff. All right, so let's see. What we've got going on right now is now some lukewarm water. And uh, my feet are, believe it or not, barefoot. But I've been doing this for a while, so maybe if you haven't been going barefoot in the snow for upwards of, I don't know, maybe try it out, but uh, it does take some practice. Or so I've been told. At any rate, uh, yeah. I do find this fun, not gonna lie. It's getting a little cooler now, but it's still tolerable. Start with really, really cold feet, then go and get some really hot water, like as hot as you can get it without boiling it, and then uh, bring it outside and, yeah, walk around in the cold and uh, do your chi. It's good times. So what it is is, you know, your feet get quite cold as one might imagine from walking around in the snow. I don't know that I would do this below the temperatures we see in Connecticut, uh, but I'm not Wim Hof and I, I don't really like his breathing style. I find it to be a little weird to be honest, but uh, everyone's got their own, you know, situation going on. So um, at any rate, walk around until your feet get cold, do your thing can't see me, but I'm doing some chi, chi, chi gong, you know, as the Chinese say, but I'm American, so I'll dispense with the accenting of tones for the moment, but, uh, and then put it back in, and there's something I suspect with, um, maybe the, uh, hypothalamus, um, and, like, a sense of, like, relief, just like, oh man, wow. I'm not going to freeze to death because there is something warm on my bottom of my feet where I was the most cold. It's a very satisfying impulse to play with.